um, my name is Mary Darby and I'm a HELP syndrome survivor. HELP syndrome is an acronym for hemolysis, elevated liver, enzymes, and low platelets. Um, for my first pregnancy, it was pretty uneventful, like I had no complications, my blood pressure was in normal limits, um, I did the glucose testing like a normal and everything turned out okay. I even remember joking to my um, obstetrician that my labor was going to be terrible since I had such an e easy pregnancy and that's what kind of jinxed me with the HELP syndrome. At 39 weeks and 6 days during that appointment I had with my OBGYN, my blood pressure was slightly elevated. I remember it being maybe 130 over 70 so I mean more than what I had before but nothing really wor worrisome and also at that visit um, I had a urine string done and there's some protein in my urine um, but I nothing overly wor worrisome and I had a, another appointment a few days later just as a checkup and it showed my blood pressure being more higher like higher than before and I forgot the exact numbers and also if there was more protein in my urine and I was told by my physician then to go check myself into the labor and delivery department because I was gonna have to deliver that day I was pretty much a classic help syndrome case like my platelets were dropping my blood pressure was high and my liver enzymes were elevated um, when they got the results that my liver enzymes were elevated, uh, my obstetrician was notified and she then decided that I should have an emergency C-section. Um, since my platelets were still so low, um, I couldn't get an epidural because they were worried about spinal bleeding. So I'd have to be put under general anesthesia, so completely knocked out for my surgery. It took me an hour to be fully awake after that and I had my... O2 sats were a little low, so I had to be put on a nasal cannula with oxygen, which is typical. And my son was placed on my chest for the first time. And um, I remember it being a very jarring experience. It's like one moment I'm in labor and the next moment I wake up and my son's there and I don't remember really what happened. And so... It, I guess not the magical birth story a lot of women experience, but I'm I'm alive um, and my son was alive, so that's really what matters to me. I do want to share my experience because I do feel like um, I had a positive outcome because of my hospital staff. Um, the nursing staff was communicating with my physician. My physician knew what was going on and she was on top of t things the entire time. And um, um, I, I get choked up about this, but um, I do tell her she saved my life um, during this and that nursing staff um, saved my life by catching this and allowing me to um, be saved and me to be a mom and be a wife to my husband and um net right now like i'm pregnant with my second child and i'm being monitored more um and i just hope this experience doesn't happen again and i hope that um other women if they do go through this they do have a, a positive outcome where they're taken care of and the staff is um communicative towards everybody and like I said I just hope this brings awareness to people and so we can better our healthcare outcomes for everyone.